go ahead and film here since uh, it's kind of scenic. You can see all the uh, fall colors on the, uh, the trees and stuff here as we're traveling through the mountain. downhill right now. See everybody slamming on their brakes. It's a 6% grade for the next three miles. So we're going down, so eventually we're probably going to have to go back up. truck ramps for trucks that lose control so they can veer off and see there's tire marks on there. So a truck did use it. It's designed to let trucks uh, go up there to slow themselves back down. Stop if they uh, lose control here because you can't slam on your brakes the whole time. The brakes will burn off. They'll burn up. It's too hot. But it's a really steep drop. And my ears are like popping. Oh, it feels like I'm in an airplane or something. Look at all these uh, mountains here. Another truck runaway uh, truck ramp here. See all the trucks with their brakes on, trying to keep from going too fast. And I can see there's tire marks on this uh, ramp right here too. So apparently the trucks do use it. They lose control of their vehicle. tripping out, popping. They have, uh, apparently they have um, zip lining at Ruby Falls now. Went to Ruby Falls um, for my honeymoon. Really wasn't much to see. I think it's like underground. It's like an underground um, waterfall. We got all these uh, tourist attractions around here. Falls being the biggest one here. Drove by Mammoth Cave, which I went to also. Mammoth Cave was just this huge cave, cavern system. I think that was in Kentucky. But maybe it was in Tennessee. I don't know. But that, I already passed that like a long time ago, a couple hours ago. But here we are. Getting ready to go by Ruby Falls. area is called Battle Creek. Look at the signs here. Sea Rock City. We're going by the area for Rock City. Here's people wanting to pass me. Some of them move over. I can't believe they want to go faster. We're pushing 80 right now. Starting to go back uphill again. 
just thought I'd point out something kind of interesting that I'm seeing happening here. Um, my GPS, the dedicated GPS, is dead. Uh, the, it won't recharge. The charge connector's broken or something. So I've had to resort to using uh, my Android phone to run Google Maps on it. And that's what I've been using to uh, navigate. But um, it seems Google Maps actually um, navigates and avoids um, traffic jams, or tries to avoid traffic jams. It gives you the best possible or fastest route by trying to move you out of traffic jams. So it is rerouting me. I'm still trying to get to Chattanooga, but it's telling me now to take another exit here and get on 156 East instead of uh, U.S. Um, 27 North. So I'll go ahead and follow the advice of Google Maps and hopefully it doesn't steer me off a cliff or something. Go ahead and get gas and then continue on. 